Good welcome. Good evening, everyone. Welcome to the live stream tonight. So good to have you guys in the house tonight. Um, I hope you guys don't see anything strange tonight, but welcome. I just played my national anthem from Jamaica. If anyone picked that up, drop it in the chat. That was the national anthem from Jamaica, a song that I would sing every day every day i'm um, going to school had to learn it word for word and be able to sing it and recite it so welcome and good night everyone thank you for being here as a lot of you guys know i have changed some things around right you guys see this new face and this new name so we are working on a brand brand new rebranding so i want to welcome everyone in the house tonight i'm going to jump in the chat and see who's in the house um and let's see let's move something around for a second let's put this actually don't stop there keep going let's put you right here there you go so if you guys see anything different please let me know please let me know if you guys see anything different um so we can get started okay so welcome, welcome, welcome to Samantha Just Inspire. It is a inspirational, motivational channel that inspires, uplift, encourage, and do all the things that builds your confidence. My live stream is a little different. I do a lot of different things here and there. I do live stories as well as motivational tips on how you guys can get over those obstacles that you're going through. So please, if you have not yet subscribed to this channel, hit that subscribe button, okay? And stay tuned for a wonderful night. It is my birthday month. Today is the 2nd of November and my birthday is on the 15th. So we will be having a beautiful live birthday party. And I would like to invite all of you to come and join, be a part. Also, get involved in the posts that I'm doing daily and comment on them. Join those polls because we're gonna have some surprises and prizes on the day of the 15th and there's still more to come there's a new website there's a merch store that's coming so please 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 guys stay tuned for all of that okay so let me jump in the chat and see who is here tonight and please guys if you see anything different just drop it in the chat drop it in the chat okay let's see we have a few in the house princess here rodrigo was the first in the house tonight <laughs> Good evening. Good evening, Rodri. Good to see you. Good to see. Listen, listen, Prince. Listen. Here. Here. Rodrigo, good evening. Good to see you in the house tonight. And Robert is here as well. And so is Prince. Hey, Lee. 
Haley. Good to have you guys here. Let me just send the prince away. Oh, I skipped a few of you guys. Give me a second. Marcus is here. Hey, Marcus. Good to have you in the house as well. Um, take a Okay. It's okay, Pop. It's okay, baby. I'll see you in a little bit. Okay. And Haley's saying hi to everyone, guys. Haley's saying hello. And Wayne is in the house. Good evening, Wayne. Good to see you. I hope you heard the anthems. I did get to play that earlier. Um, hey, Ash. Ash is here as well. Good to have you in the house, Ash. Yay, finally back, finally back live and not on replay. Congratulations to Samantha on the rebound. Thank you so much, Mommy Lala. Thank you so much. You are doing awesome. Listen, you are doing some good stuff over there. Let's see. Uh, Samantha and Haley. Roderick is saying hi to you, Haley. And Haley saying hi to everybody. Haley, Ash says hello. Um, and we're all saying hi, hi. That's new. Yes, Ash. So excited for the new you. Thanks, mom. Anybody say anything different? Let me know. Okay. And mommy's saying hello to everyone. And hi there. Enjoying the music. Thank you. That was my national anthem from Jamaica. If you guys don't know where I'm from, we're going to talk about that tonight. That was my national anthem from Jamaica. Haley says hi, grandma. Um, okay. Saying hello to everyone. Give me a second. Um, okay, I believe I'm guy their wife. Okay, everybody saying hello. Okay. Mom says so cute. You remember this little girl? Remember this little face? Thanks, Ash. So super cute. Don't laugh at me, guys. Don't say so super cute. Like, what is this girl with pigtails on the show? It's all for a reason. Um, CJ should write um, his, his own anthem version for Samantha. Yes, that would be nice, Rodrigo. I would like that. Thank you, Marcus. Thank you so much. Remember those clips and those hairstyles? Oh, my aunt is in the house. Hi. Good to have you here. Good to have you in the house. Thanks for stopping by. Let me give you some confetti. Confetti. And Haley's saying hi. Haley's saying hello. Okay, next step, name your house and set the Inspire State. And set the Inspire State building. The Inspire State. Roger, go stop putting things, stop putting things into my brain. Like you, you just put something into my head. Higher State building. Spire State Building. Hmm. Hey, Patrick. Good to have you in the house. Good to see you. Um, there's one. There's one new thing that you can't see, but I'm watching you for the very first time in high res now. Oh, that's good, Rodrigo. That's good. That is good. Haley saying hi, Patrick. That's my daughter. Your new hair was the first change that stood out, besides your new brand that I saw earlier. You're on Ecamm now. I'm almost on Ecamm. I'm almost on Ecamm. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. Don't laugh. It's all for a reason. It's all for a reason. So, guys, tonight's live stream is all things Samantha, and it's entitled Where It All Began. Fix this camera. Where It All Began. And we're just going to go down a quick little timeline. I have the most pictures I can find when I was a little Todd. And um, I'm gonna wait a little bit to share that. But before I start, you guys know I always do my inspirational um, my affirmation. So we're gonna start there. And then I do have some pictures and things to show you guys. Some things, some things to talk about. And I hope you guys um, enjoy it, okay? So let's start with our affirmations. So put up a number, one, two, three, four, five. How many affirmations you want to do tonight? And if you're in the chat, please, 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 please say hello. Let me know you're here. Let me know you're watching so that I can acknowledge you and say hello, especially if you're here for the first time. I really want you to want you to be a part. Okay. 
let me do something right quick while I am while I am um message um, okay great sorry guys sorry guys someone's trying to get in and they're in the wrong link they're in the wrong link okay great so how many numbers i got three from ash three from marcus good so we're gonna do six and i'm um, three from ashley three from marcus hey sammy good to see you in the house sammy so we're gonna do six tonight so let's get that jar open let's start off with that i'm gonna tell you guys all about my pigtails okay <laughs> tell you guys all about my pigtails but let's get this Affirmation out one, two, three, four. Oh, come on, my hands are stuck. Five and six. Okay. So the first one is the first affirmation for tonight is I am courageous. I am courageous. I am courageous. That is the first affirmation for tonight. I am courageous. Lord. <laughs> <laughs> this one is I am special. I am special. Ooh, good ones tonight. I am brilliant. I am brilliant. I am brilliant. And that is three. So now we're on the fourth one. Mm. I am favored. I am Oops. I am favored. Five. Am I counting wrong? So that's four. So now we're on number five. Number five is I am complete. And number six and final for tonight is I am happy. I am happy. I am happy. So you want to look yourself in the mirror. If you can see yourself in the mirror, I can see myself on my, my monitor. Look yourself in the mirror and repeat these over and over again. The more you do it is the more you will feel something happen. Okay, don't just do it one day and put it down or do it one time and that's it. You want to repeat it. I am happy. I am complete and speak it with power as well. I am special, right? I am brilliant. I am courageous. And the last one was, I am favored. So you repeat it over and over and you do it with power and it would allow all the fear, anything that you're going, going through to literally disappear and float away, okay? It helps you help to build your courage. It strengthens you when you do them over and over. It builds, brings a lot of positivity into your life as well. Okay. So you want to do them daily. Um, you can do it in the morning. You can do it at night. And you can also add to it as well, whatever it is that you're going through as well. And they do help. I've, do it, I've done it a lot, and it does work, especially when I'm going through something. Like I can't figure out how to do something. I always say I'm talented. I'm talented. I'm gifted. I'm talented. I'm creative. One is that one, that's one of my best words. I am creative. So I create different things. And if I command that over my life, then... I'm going to create good things. Three sounds good. Did three. Everybody saying hi to Sammy and Robert. Pookie is in the house. Everybody, please, 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 please. Say hello. Say hello to Pookie. Say hello to Pookie. Please give her a warm, warm welcome. Tell her it's good to have her in the house. Please, please, please. Okay. I missed one thing and I'm going to go back and say it. I want to thank all of you guys for supporting me thus far. Um, I will not be here, will not be able to have this live stream. I'll be here talking to myself, as you know it, talking to myself, but you guys have been here supporting me weeks on end. I have not yet missed a live stream. There's some wood and I am grateful for that. I'm out of 600 subscribers, 605 I think. And I want to thank you guys for all, all of you guys for being here 
and for supporting me. You guys deserve a round of applause. And confetti, because confetti is for everyone. Everyone needs to celebrate transition in their lives, celebrate when they do something good, when they overcome something, everybody needs to celebrate. You guys know I'm big on celebrating, big on celebrating. So welcome, welcome, welcome again to you all. Pookie, good to see you in the house. Um, Haley, that's Haley. Haley saying hi. Addiction. <laughs> um, I was never good at math either. Yes, you are. Addition, addition. We can count. We know we can count. Everybody in here can count. And Wayne is saying hi, Pookie. Hey, CJ. CJ's in the house. Hi, CJ. Good to see you. Good to see you. Um, and Haley's saying hello. Everybody's saying hi to Haley. Everybody know that's Haley. Um, okay. Hey, CJ, you're expected to write a, and sing a national anthem for Samantha Taylor made. Okay, that's all Rodriguez's idea, and I think it's a great idea. And we can do something with the empire. What, what did you say earlier? Um, the Inspire State Building. I think we're gonna put that in there. And Rodriguez saying hi to Pookie. Yep. Um, rewind the tape for more info. He'll get it. He'll get it. Okay, Haley. Pookie said hello. Okay. So guys, A fifty three. So. Where it all began, you guys noticed that I'm in my pigtails tonight. And um, growing up as a child, when I was, I had beautiful, I think my hair is still beautiful, but I'm getting older, so it's thinning out a little bit. But growing up as, um, when I was born, I was born with a lot of head, <laughs> a lot of head, a lot of hair. My Jamaican's coming up. I was born with a lot of hair. And um, I always had pigtails. My aunt never, she never, um, never missed a beat on my hairstyles. My hair was always cute. I was always matching. I was always matchy matchy. I always had pigtails with clips and things like that. And I thought about it. I was like, well, what's the best way to do this stream tonight than to put some pigtails in? So I said, you know what? That's what I'm gonna do. I'm gonna put on some pigtails and I'm gonna put a pink one because pink is my favorite color. And I'm gonna put some, these are all Haley's hair, hair stuff, guys. This here, the Haley's hair clips and bows. So at least I have a daughter so I can take it out of her closet and put it in my hair. So that's what inspired this look. I hope you guys like it. Don't take pictures. But um, this is the reason why I'm wearing the pigtails. So let's get started with this um stream right so where it all began i was born in the beautiful 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 island of jamaica um in montego bay to be exact if any one of you have have ever been to montego bay you guys know it's full of there's a lot of tourists there really um, and there's hotels, there's beaches, all these things. But I was born in Montego Bay, but I was raised in the country. And country back home is literally bush. <laughs> it is literally bush, okay? It's like, I don't even know how to say it. It's bush. It's, uh, Maureen, you're still in the, in the chat. Please drop something and drop some words in here so I don't say the wrong words. It's bush though. It's literally bush, okay? And um, it's from where the Montego Bay area is. I think I live where I was where I was raised was probably two places because I was in one area and then I moved one area to my grandma. So where I was with my mom and dad, after they migrated to the States, I stayed with my grandma, my grandmother for um for some time until I came here when I was nine. So I'm going to give you guys a little bit of rundown. And I'm going to show you guys some pictures. Okay. I was born just like this, guys. Brown skin with all these little freckles. If you guys can see them. Lots of freckles on my face. And chubby little girl. You know, kind of chubby. Because my mom used to always make me porridge. And I remember one of my uncles that loved to eat out my porridge. Like when she was feeding it to me, they would literally come. I'll feed her. And they'll be eating a spoon and giving me a spoon, eating a spoon and giving me. And guys, like right now I'm talking about it and I hear stories all the time from my mom that talks about it. And I post a picture 
um, the other day on my community tab with one of them that passed away, um, sadly. And I remember sometimes just being around them, they would just pick me up and, you know, like I was like their prized possession and just talking about it now is like making me want to cry. Just thinking about knowing the people that were in my life. Um, one of them is in the chat right now, Maureen Francis Soli. She has been, um, definitely someone that was there for me when I was a child. They were here in the States with my mom and I mean, they were not here in the States, but my mom and them were really good friends. And there were times that my mom would send things for me and they would bring it to me. And just bring, thinking about all of that right now and knowing that I wasn't with my mom, but she would, she had two beautiful, two ladies um, that was always there for me. Um, Auntie Altia, she's still in Jamaica and Maureen Francis that's in the chat would always come and find me when Vadney say, go check on Sam or Sam or Sam, they were always there. And I'm grateful for that. So growing up, um, I was loved. I really do believe that I was loved. I was this little red baby and everybody wanted a little red baby and they all took care of me. And um, my mom, read the chat. Hello everyone from South Carolina. Hope you're well blessed. We're doing good, married man. Thank you so much for being in the chat. Yes, cuteness looking good. Thank you. Um, what did you say Samantha's favorite color is? Fill in the blank. Don't tell anybody. You guys should, you guys should have did that poll. You guys should have did that poll. You got it. Pink. Pink, pink, pink. <laughs> um, don't take pictures. Yeah, don't take pictures, CJ. Marcus, Marcus, don't take pictures. <laughs> um and she's wearing blue. So, well, I'm wearing blue because I was trying to put something together with my school uniform, but I couldn't. So I just threw on this blue dress. It looks like a little frilly girl dress. So I put that on. Um, orange and orange and Plazy. So I was raised with my mom and my dad in orange. And then I migrated to Plazy with my grandmother. Um, right. Current, see, and my, here she goes confirming cornmeal porridge. <laughs> cornmeal porridge that um and that was my favorite it still is my favorite if you do it really good i still love cornmeal porridge to this day it still is my 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 favorite and then um after migrating to Plaisley, um probably around maybe four i believe it was four around four four five six seven eight nine about four I remember going to um, basic school and or infant school and I had this really cute pink, pink, um, pink dress. My uniform was pink and white. I remember that. And I, and I think, I don't know if that's when I started liking pink, but I remember that that's the only thing I remember about going to that school in orange was some pink. I had on something pink. And then I went to my grandma. Now, um, I grew up Adventist. So I, we did church on Saturdays and I would always remember having Bible studies or learning the 66 books of the Bible. I had to recite them and remember them and, um, and be able to go in church and speak them in front of an audience. I always sing as well. Um, I was the, the, I don't even think I was that into um being the first one but i loved it i love the idea of being on a stage and always um singing or acting or doing something retarded or something funny and even going to school um i would always um try to enter into like the contest and so i was a dancer i'm gonna say it nobody don't beat me coming from jamaica you know if you didn't know how to dance you know, may have been a little problem, but I was a dancer. I love to dance. In school, there was some talent shows or something. Sam was up there dancing. I was tiny though, guys. You guys are gonna see pictures. I was just tiny. I was little. I was dancing. And um, I started. I went to Hamden Primary, which is about it's my, it was a long way from where I lived. Okay, we're gonna talk a little bit about that. The school that I went to probably took like three bus rides or four bus rides to get to my house if you're living in America. That's how far it was. 
and we would get dropped off some mornings or we'll take the bus some mornings. But at night, when it's time for us to come home, we would walk, literally walk the way home. And some nights we would not get home until it was like midnight, like literally 12 midnight street lights were well we don't we didn't have street lights in jamaica guys there was no street lights in jamaica okay okay where i was from we walked in the darkness okay we didn't have cell phones or, or little lights we walked in the dark we knew where we were going though we had good eyes <laughs> we could see but we did not have lights to guide us okay so when it was 12 it was dark okay but i had my brother right most of the time it was his fault and my cousins, right? We all was probably six of us, five, six of us that normally walked home from school. One moment. Um, how about making an acronym for some? Do anything. Do that's fine, CJ. Don't cry, mommy. Don't. Cry. I'm not gonna cry, Haley. It's okay. She's probably over there crying herself. Love you too. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. I love you too. Um. Yeah, I, when I when I was thinking about what I was going to say tonight, you and Auntie Alti came into my mind and I was like, you know, I remember I remember when you guys used to walk. I, was it? Yeah, it was you. And you guys would be from far, you know, from where the house is. And, and this is a true story from where my house was that I lived with my grandma. I can see like down the road because we were up on top like of a hill. So you can see way ahead. And I would always see whenever they are coming, they have like this big doll. Like, I literally wish I had one. They had this big doll that was about the size of me at the time. The exact, like, literally my size. My mom sent it for me. And it was, like, the size of me. And I could see the doll. And you know me. I'm just excited. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. I remember that. And when that doll came, I was like, oh, my gosh. My uncle, I would leave the doll out at night on the, like, we call it veranda in Jamaica. I would leave him out at night. And my uncle came home one night. And he was like, Samantha, <laughs> what are you doing awake? And he said he woke up, he was like, we, I thought it was you. The doll was just as big as me. And those are memories, guys, from, from living um, in Jamaica with my family. Um, so going home from school, we would walk and we'll get home at midnight. And we'll have to get up in the morning at six again and go right back out to school. Um, in school, I have a picture of the school. I was trying to get a lot of baby pictures of myself, but I could not get as much. But I do have a picture of the school that I'm going to show you guys. Um, and I literally went back to the school when I first went back to Jamaica. And we're going to talk about that in my next um, stream. But I'll show you a picture of the school that I went to when I was in um, Jamaica. Um, don't cry, Haley. <laughs> a is for awesome and amazing content creator. Thank you. Um, Ryan is allowed. M is for M is for what? Mother of the month. <laughs> A is for artistic person. And N is um for never gives up. T is for talented. Thanks, CJ. So um let me not lose my lose my lose my lose my thing. Okay. So I would always participate in like these um talent shows at my school singing because i love to sing um i remember once i did whitney houston it was whitney houston and mariah carey song and um at school i think i was about eight eight or so that used to be something that i would do all the time and even in church i would i would sing i would um always love to do something, had a microphone, or I would do it by myself and acting like I'm on stage. It was something that I've always loved to do, be a part of acting or something like that. And, and all of that kind of went when I came here. Like I felt like I, cultural shock. We'll talk about that too. So that was what, um, when I was in, um, Hamden primary and that was in Trelawney. So a whole different, it's kind of like you live in, nobody don't know Florida. Like, so you live in New York, and then um, someone that lives in New York and you know where New Jersey is, right? So it's kind of like that. So you have um, Plazy, you have um, Trelawney, you have Montego Bay, like different parishes, okay? And that's where, that's how far I went to school. Um, so we would um, be a part of sports. I love to run and 
that was something that I loved to do. Like literally, like I was fast. I was so fast. I was tiny, guys. That's why I was fast. I'm not fast anymore, but I was tiny. So I used to run a lot. And then going to school with my cousins, and if my cousin would hear this, she'll probably be like, yes, Sam, that's you. My grandma and my aunt would always pack our lunch. And, you know, we had these little tin cans of like tin lunch boxes that we would carry to school. And I would always go in when it was lunchtime and I would take out the cheese. I would like take out all the cheese and eat all the cheese. And then when it was lunchtime and everybody got their lunch box. There was no more cheese. Like Sam would eat all the cheese. And my cousin would always say, Samantha, you always take the cheese. And I, w I don't know why I did it. I don't know. I just didn't like the bun because the bun had like, if you guys ever eat um Jamaican um, bun, it has like the cherries and the other type of red and green things. And I never liked it. So I didn't eat it. I just liked the cheese. So I would go and just take the cheese out and, you know, think that they'll be okay with just eating the bun because they like the bun. They didn't like it. Even with bread, same thing. Eat the cheese and left the bread. And those are little fun things that I did with, when I was in Jamaica, man, growing up. I came here when I was nine years old. So from four till nine, I was just doing little girl things. I would always go outside. I would always take like the, um, take sticks. And, and this is when I knew that I was creative. I was going to do something creative because I used to always take, um, on paper, cut paper, fold paper, create things with paper take foil paper and make dresses for dolls and rub it on like sticks and things like that and make, create things. That was, uh, you know, not nothing that you can use, but just, I was always into doing something on my hand. I would cut papers for days, just cut it up and, and glue it and flip it to make it look a certain way. So I knew I had some type of creative um, gene from that, from a young age. But I also knew that I wanted to do something with being in front of something when I was that age, okay? And then that, that shifted because something happened and that shifted. Um, another fun thing, fun fact about me being this brown skin girl, I really got beaten. I think I got a little bit, but not as much. My dad, I remember my dad came back one time and um, my dad was there and he would always, you know, he had a nickname for me and he would always call me and he would grab me by my hands like this. He would just hold my hands together. And what he always did was pinch me. He would just pinch me. He would just pinch me, just pinch me. Never slap me, pinch me, pinch me, pinch me. And he'll say, don't do it again. Don't do it again. And I'll never forget that. And my grandma, if I'm in church and, and I'm sitting like, you know, maybe a hand stretch away from her and I was given trouble. She would just stretch her hands and grab my hand wherever she could fit her fingers and pinch me and literally just pull me straight close to her with her pinch. I remember those. And that was in church and I couldn't scream. I couldn't say, what are you doing? I just had to say, okay, mama, just go to school. Okay, okay, <laughs> okay, okay. <laughs> I would do it all the time. And then I was still like, it's like, and she did it. And like five minutes later, I'm back over there doing the same thing again. And she'd be like, mm. Mm. and that it was just, it was, just, I guess, just being a little girl, being a little girl. Um, let's see, I'm doing great so far, CJ. And he will call a porch and we'll call, we'll call, we call a porch a veranda in Portuguese too. If that's um, the world. Okay, let's see if that's the, um, the word you have in Jamaica. Yes, veranda. So you guys call it the same thing. Yes, we call it veranda too. Jamaica shift, Jamaica um, shift key failed. Okay, in Jamaica. Yes, yes, yes. All right. Uh, let's see. H is for having an amazing community. Yes. Sorry, I can't say hello so much. I'm driving. Stop driving and coming on here, Corey Marie. I'm driving home, but hey, everyone, and eat, and eat anything so we wouldn't, would, would have been eating the Jamaican bun. <laughs> no, I don't like it. I didn't like it. To this day, I still don't. I just don't like all the fruits. They're so big and chunky. I really don't like it, but I like the regular bun. They had another bun that we would eat at school that was plain. And literally when I go back to Jamaica, I get like a lot of those buns, 
banana chip. I'm going to talk about my favorite foods in a second, but buns, Jamaica chip, banana chips, um, cheese strips. Those are my favorite. Um, so, so I know that's the things that my grandma would do. And my dad never, never really beat me. So when we used to come home from school late, I didn't get any beating because they figured it wasn't my fault because I was the small, I'm the youngest. I was the youngest. Okay. Everybody else was older. So I had to listen to the older ones, right? Because I was the baby. So if, if we're coming home late, it couldn't have been my fault, even though sometimes I would sneak and play with my friends and they couldn't find me. But most of the times it wasn't my fault. So I wouldn't get beaten. They would think that, you know, it was the bigger kids that wanted to do whatever they wanted to do. And then here goes Samantha, little baby Samantha, that's trying to come home to sleep and play with her dolls. She's late because of her brothers and her cousin, her brother and her cousins, right? But so I wouldn't get much. So I kept my good. You know, I got some good slaps from my grandfather. He slapped me one time real good. I, I, he slapped me one time real good. Never forget it. I don't think he beat me after that day, though. But he slapped me one time very good. My grandma gave me a lot of pinches. My aunt gave me a lot of pinches. And my dad gave me a lot of pinches. But all for good reason. I'm still here. And listen, if I can go back and and because both my grandfather and my grandmother on my dad's side have passed away. And if I can go back and give them another hug or say something... I would do it. So I am saying it, but listen, it was all for good reasons. And I love them to pieces. I love them to pieces. Um, and I talked about in church and reciting. Now, this is one thing that I know is different nowadays than back, you know, than back then. When I went to church, and I think I have a picture in here with me being at church. There are certain things that I couldn't do. There are certain things I couldn't you couldn't talk, you couldn't move, you couldn't do anything. But I think we're, we're, we're this, we're, so many things have changed. Like the, the, like my daughter, I try to teach her stuff in the Bible and I had to learn the 66 books and be able to recite them. And I remember once they had a, a conference because, you know, I'm at Venice. So we had conferences. So all the churches came together and we had the churches go up and do their recites. Um, and I had to recite the Bible scriptures, the Bible verses. Um, what am I saying? Bible verses. No, the books of the Bible, the six, six books of the Bible. And you had to remember them. And I used to learn that now I don't remember where all of them are. Being honest. I mean, I can find them in the I flip in. But there was a time when I was, you know, able to recite them with my eyes shut and be able to say it and not miss a beat. And I was like seven, six and seven. And I was able to repeat them without looking at it, say them correctly, because we were raised a certain way that certain things were important. Yes, we had time to play. Yes, we had time to do the things that we needed to do, but there were certain things that was instilled and the Bible talks about it. Train up a child in the way that they should go and when they're older, they will not depart. And that is something that I know my mother, my father, my grandparents, my aunts, my uncles, they instilled that in me. That now that I'm older, I know what's right and I can do what's right. So the beatings, ah, the little bit I got, mm, pinching me in church and saying, come here, girl. Mm. That's all right. I'm still okay. My dad always said this to me. Um, it'll go away before you get married. When I was a baby, it'll go away before you get married. It'll be gone. You won't feel it. <laughs> you will not feel it. You won't know what happened. It'll be gone. So that was a little tidbit about being um, there in, um, in Jamaica. Now we're going to talk about some of the food before I show you some pictures. Letter A. Awesome or amazing. Oh, you already did awesome or amazing. Yeah, awesome or amazing, CJ. Try awesome or amazing. Or authentic. A is for a mother of two amazing kids. Yes. Great, CJ. So foods that I love to eat. Now I talked about porridge. Okay, that was my go-to. But one thing I could not stop was, you guys may not know this, but I'm going to say it anyways, was dumplings. 
dumplings, dumplings, dumplings. If you made food and there was no dumplings and there was only yam and banana and potato dumplings, dumplings and fried plantains. My aunt used to breakfast time. My aunt used to plantains all the time. Love dumplings, love plantains. I was a rice girl, a white rice girl with curry gold or chicken. Those were my favorite things to eat. I think I said it was my aunt, my aunt, my aunt, my auntie G. <laughs> I'm going to say this. I don't know. I don't think I'm going to say it on here. No, I'm not going to say it on here. But I, those are my favorite to eat. was always dumpling. If you made soup, if you made um, any type of food, I always wanted Jamaican, I mean, dumplings and or white rice i never liked rice and peas never liked it um never oh i don't want to give it away there's a there's a poll coming out you guys may give it away anyways i think i changed it to make yeah i never liked rice and peas because i'm um the peas just never taste good to me so i always got rid of the peas so i just wanted the rice so rice and chicken but white rice was always my favorite with curry goats or um, curry chicken, those are my favorite. But dumplings, you give me dumplings with anything, I was good to go. Those are my mostly favorite. Now, I, there's fruits in Jamaica. One thing about Jamaica that I loved was I can walk from like my house to the next door neighbor's house. And before I got to the next door neighbor's house, there was a fruit tree that I ate something off of. There was a mango, there was an orange. E even in where I lived in my yard, we had a we had like all the fruit trees, all the fruit trees. There was um, mango, orange, ginup, star apple, um, June plum, almond. Oh my gosh, everything was there. Everything was there. Nesbury is a big, I think they cut it down the last time I went. There's a big Nesbury tree. You guys call it sapodillo here in um, America. And my mom literally has one by her house now in uh, where we live here in florida she has a sapodilla tree but it's called nesbury in jamaica we had every fruit every fruit cherry um and my grandfather had this this farm you guys call it farm here we call it grown in jamaica right my grandfather had this farm like type and it was filled with every fruit you can think of it was cane it was jamaican apple star apple mango everything was there and we called the name of it was belly full like belly full and when you went there you will never leave hungry there was always something there for you to eat to fill your belly it's still there now every time i go i drive by it and i look and i said i remember the days i used to go in there and just sit under a tree and that's what i love about being in jamaica you could just go sit under any type of fruit tree depending on the season that you're in jamaica and you can eat you can eat and you can be filled with the natural fruits you don't have to go you don't always have to go to the market and buy something you had it like i had th these things in my backyard i could just go and pick it off the tree right we had goats we had um papa had some cows papa had some cows over there in belly food we had cows, we had goats, we had cows. Um, and I remember one time someone came in and tried to steal our goat. We were like, mm -mm, buddy, not today, not today. Um, CJ said, I've never had a, ja a Jamaican bun. Is that good? Yes, Jamaican bun, they're good. Not the ones with the things in them though, but the other ones are really good. They have some that doesn't have the, the the raisins and the cherries and the other fruit things in them. Like, you know, when you guys have Easter, you guys have your Easter bun and you guys have all those things in your Easter bun. I don't like it. I just like plain. So if it has those things in there, I don't mess with it. So that's not something that I like to do. Maybe you'll get into it. But how was your um, adaptation process? at the room? I'm going to talk about that, CJ. I mean, Rodrigo on Thursday. We're going to talk about coming to America on Thursday. I didn't post it yet, but I will post it shortly. We're going to be talking about that when I migrated on Thursday. So I just wanted to talk to you guys about me being in Jamaica, 
And I think I covered everything that's on my list. So now, guys, I am going to, <laughs> she says, not today. Nope, not today. Um, I'm going to show you guys a really cute little thing that I created of some pictures of myself. And I hope you guys like it. I did cover everything I wanted to talk about um, being in Jamaica. Oh, there's one thing I want to say. When I, the place where I went to school, it's in um, Trelawney. And um, in Trelawney is where they have the cane factory, right? That's where the cane factory was. So, you know, the cane, normally they, they strip the cane, they get sugar, molasses and all that stuff. So that's where the big cane factory was. And the school was like in that same area. And when we would be coming home from school, a lot of times, you know, those big trailers will be driving. If you guys, if anybody's um, ever seen one, but they'll be driving with like all the cane in them. And we used to, me, my little, this little tiny self used to hop on those trailers and like, like literally like jump on the trailers and like hold on and catch a ride. Literally when I was in Jamaica, I used to climb trees. Like, literally, if I wanted a mango and it was up there, I'm going for it. I to get on that tree and climb up. I was, like, a, a pretty, pretty girl, but I was no, like, I would do anything. I would climb the trees. I would be outside with my uncles. They hammering and they clean. I'd be out there with them, too, hammering. Right? I was, like, an all-around girl. I did everything. There was nothing that I don't think I didn't do. And that's why I see myself now. I I, I built a little tree house for my, for my daughter. And, um... I do different things and I and I sat down and I thought about it. I was like, where do you get all of this stuff from? Like it's you're gifted with so many different talents, Samantha, but you when you were growing up as a child, you may not remember everything, but there are things that you would see and want to be a part of that made you who you are. And that's one of the reasons why I said you never want to forget where you come from and the things you used to do when you were a child. I will never ever um, forget me growing up in Plaisley in that house I would never forget that every time I go back there I want to go to that house and go look at it just to go look at it and say I used to live in that house I slept in that bed I walked up those stairs you know because that's something that's in me and it, it's an inspiration to know that you can you have somewhere to go to you have somewhere to go back and say I was here I took my daughter there I put her in front of the gate and say take a picture because I want you to remember where your mom came from. I want you to remember this because, you know, these are the, this is your history and history is very important. That's why they teach it in school. It is important to know. So it was things that I did, I'm doing now that I was like, I remember my uncles used to be underneath in the, I call it downstairs because we have two, like two stories and they used to be down there putting the, the, the um, how do you call it, the bricks together to build onto the house and putting the clay and the putty and stuff. And I'll be down there trying to mix it. I would be mixing it, trying to figure out how they do it. And they would always say, Samantha, no, you know, don't mess with it, don't touch it, you don't want get, to get it stuck, your foot stuck in it. Or, But I would always want to be there and I'll be taking nails and hammering, hammering stuff. Mind you, bust your finger. And now I, I now the things that I do, you wonder, like this little girl, she must have been doing something when she was little. Um, so never forget where you come from, Samantha. What do you want for your birthday? I want a thousand subscribers. I said it. <laughs> that is my gift. A thousand subscribers. Um, I know what she wants, but tell me what it is, Haley. <laughs> CJ says a puppy. Talk about a puppy. I had um I had cats. I grew up loving cats in Jamaica. So I had a lot of cats. And then we also had dogs as well. We had like this big fluffy dog. We had two of them and I don't remember their names, but we had a really nice fluffy one. It looked like a lion. And that's probably where I wanted the lion from when I came here. He looked like a little lion, but his color was a little bit more redder-ish, brownish than a regular lion um, color. But he looked the fuzziness looked like a lion. And I used to go on his back and ride him. Me and my cousin Candy, we would go on him and ride him. <laughs> going to my grandfather one time I was like stay off of the dog because I fell one time and he was so upset that's when he slapped me and don't ride on the dog because we was always we were little wanted to go on the dog and ride him like a little horsey and um those are my those are my pets man and and I'm telling you life uh uh man I tell you um Tomboy, I know, right? The things that we used to do, <laughs> jumping on those those cane cane things to come home. 
It used to be something, man. I, I, I thought about it and I said, it used to be something. And now we are privileged to be able to, I can jump in my car and drive, but those legs that used to walk those miles, those miles as a child, I don't know, but we did it. We did it. No, a truck. Oh, not, not, don't tell everybody my secret, Haley. I know what gift is perfect. Math. <laughs> um, climbing trees for us was prohibited. They wouldn't, they wouldn't even let us. Listen, I need, listen, there was, there were certain things that I couldn't do. Like my grandmother, my mom's mom, my mom's, my dad's mom would not allow me to go anywhere without my cousin, without one of my cousin Marie. Like all, everybody else can go, but she would never let me go. If she's not going, I'm not going. They called me her pocketbook. Everywhere she was, I was right underneath her. I was literally like, I don't have something. I was literally like right underneath her, like a purse. And, and I would climb those trees when I was at school and stuff. Nobody, don't tell nobody now. But I would climb those trees when I was at school Right when I'm coming home and I want a fruit off of a tree and I saw it and I know I can get it, I would climb it and go get it and eat it. We'll eat straight home. Climbing trees was fun. Climbing trees was fun, man. Pomeranian, I want a Shih Tzu or a Yorkie. Shih Tzu or a Yorkie. That's what I want. P Pomeranians are really cute as well. Um... I guess a puppy as well. Yes. <laughs> oh, hey, Ken. Good to have you in the house. You know, I need to send you an email. I have an email coming to you very soon. Good to have you in the house. It's okay that you are late. You're not late. You're right on time. I'm about to show the slideshow in a second, so you'll get to see that. But good to see you, Ken. That's Ken Haley. Hey, this is my daughter, Ken, saying hello. She's on the other computer. No one is ever late to my streams. You got here, and that's what matters. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, CJ. Okay, now moving on to the gifts we are thinking for Samantha's birthday. Yes, my first gift is a uh, 1,000 subscribers and then monetize, monetize after. Yeah, 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 something like that. Um, I am very late, but hey, hey, Kim, Kim, good to have you in the house. So you guys know um, on the 15th, which is a Monday, that's when I'm going to be doing my live stream because um, that is the day of my birthday. And Ken is here and Kim is here. I would love for you, for everyone that's in the stream to come on. I am going to do it where everyone can come on and say happy birthday to me, like five, not even five minutes, like a minute, 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 because a lot of people, family from all over is going to be... Um, coming in and just wishing me happy birthday so it's 8 30 monday and i'll be posting you guys will see the posts coming out um every day um it will be the same same time but on monday at 8 30 and it's probably going to be a two hour long stream because i have a lot of people that's going to want to come in and wish me happy birthday so i would love to have you guys in the house that night so come on the stream i'll send a link out if you guys would like to and wish me happy birthday um, and be a part of that celebration. A dog with me and Corey do not. Aw, well, we got a bunny because Haley wants a dog too, but her dad says, mm-mm. So we got a bunny and a fish and a bird, but the fish and the bird, uh -huh. but yeah, we have a little bunny. That's about all we could do right now. When we're talking about puppies. I want a Corey G, Corey G so bad. What kind of dog is that? I have to look that up. Um, but my husband's not gonna let us get a, a dog. No. Haley, Ken is saying hi. And Haley saying hi to Kim. Okay. So I can pop in after this. Okay, good. So I'll send a stream out in the link so you'll have the link to Ken. Okay. Two streams scheduled for this week. I'll be there, CJ. Um, you're six percent of the way there um, to your first birthday gift. Six hundred plus subscribers. Yes, almost there. So that is my goal, and I mean, I'm gonna try to do it. If not, it's okay. I still have time for the year. So, but that's my gift. That's just pop open on the screen on that night. It'd be perfect. Okay, guys. So I talked about everything that I want to cover. So now I am going to share with you guys 
um, a little, little, little thing here that I created today um, that I am going to share. Let's get it ready. And um, in one second, let's see, I think it's in the right place. I hope I didn't move it. And it doesn't show properly, but let's see. <laughs> It's not starting from the beginning. Hold on a second, guys. Okay, there it goes. There it goes. Okay, now. All right. Can you guys see? I think my picture is hiding it a little bit. This is me, you guys see here, I always had this little red um, microphone thingy with the microphone um, singing or thinking that I was some kind of star. Some, the little dreamer, it says, the little dreamer. Um, can you guys see it okay? If you guys can see it okay, let me know. Okay, uh, let's go to the other slide. So this was me and my mom and my grandma's house, my family home um, on my dad's side. And that's me and my lion and my little pigtails I always had. I always had my hair like this. My aunt always did my hair like that. Um, and my little juke ju box or whatever this was <laughs> that I always was trying to, I was like, acting like I was singing or something, but. All right, and then go to the next one and that's me again um, I was trying to find baby pictures of me when I was smaller but my mom told me that she had a, a nice thing of baby pictures of me like when I was baby 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 and somebody stole it or you know came and took it so this is what I have this is what I have and this is me see how tiny I was um, I was still even tinier when I came here. You remember it? Yeah, I was trying to get some more, Marie, but I couldn't find any more. I couldn't find any more. I got what mommy um what mommy um sent, and then I had some. I had some in there. Um, and then, and this was me at my like every year, my grandma um put up a Christmas tree. She loved the Christmas lights. She loved the, um, she loved Christmas lights and she loved decorating when it was Christmas time. And, um, I would always go by the Christmas tree and take pictures. I always go by the Christmas tree and take pictures. So that was me there. My little pigtails, my little pigtails, my little face. And let's see what's next. Okay, so never forget, never forget where you come from and the road you had to travel to be where you are. And that is something that I will never forget. Um, growing up in Jamaica taught me a lot. I came here to the States and with everything that I went through, never, I never forgot. I would always, if I can go back tomorrow, I would. If I can get in a plane tomorrow and somebody say, you're going to Jamaica, let's go. Let's go. I always, I always want to go back. I always want to be there. If I can stay there, I would stay there. Um, because it's my home. It's my home. It's, it's, it's my home. Um, at the end of the day, it's my home. And it'll always be my home. I can't be, I can't have a home somewhere else. It'll always be my home. So never forget where you come from. It doesn't matter. It doesn't matter what it is. Never forget where you come from. Everything happens in life for a reason. Everything happens in life for a reason. So never forget. And never forget what you have to go through to be where you are in life as well. Okay. Um, let's see. Uh, I'm just jumping to the chat at the same time, guys, so I can paper with the words thingy. I did that already, CJ, but I'll do the um, inspiration after. A stream deck? Oh, I have a stream deck. I have the, is it the 15? No, the 30? I have a large one, but I did get that, and it does, it's really good, it does work. I'm down for a birthday stream. Yes, Kim, so we can definitely have you come on. 
um, let me know. Um, I will be streaming on the 24th of December and 31st. Okay. Okay, CJ. I'll be there. I'll be lying to match the picture now. <laughs> I know, right? I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. I know. Uh, Christmas time. Yes. My, my grandma loved, loved Christmas. One of her favorite holidays. Why is this photo so cute? Because it's me. <laughs> it's me. Uh, let's all enjoy it tonight. I know. Now I want to sing. <laughs> sing, CJ. Sing. Where's my music? Where's my music? My music stop. I want the music to play all the way through. Okay, and then this is uh, me and my little, my little, so I don't know what gift. I don't know what. I think it was like a Santa or, or something like that. Maybe a Santa Claus or something. That was a younger picture. I was probably five or so here. I look like Prince here, guys. I look like, um, I look like Prince. Prince, Prince literally is like the spitting image of me. Literally. Literally look just like me. Well, thank you. Thanks, Corey Marie. Okay, and then let's see. What's next? I think I have some more here. Oh, there it goes. Now this guy, this right here. Let me get this out the way because we got to read this comment. We got to read this comment. This says, always picture ready. Let me tell you guys, my grandma from my mother to my auntie to my grandmother. Now, I always, I couldn't find all of them. I wish I could, but they never failed. My grandma, my mom bought me these dresses these outfits, I don't know where she got this little cute pink, pink thing from. You see all this pink on me here? You see, I got this pose going on, and I, th I think I look cute, don't I? <laughs> I think I look cute, don't I? Don't I think I look cute? And my cousin, my cousin, my, my, my cousin, my cousin, she always had, was dressed like me, but she never liked it. She always said, why every time Samantha gets something or I get something. We got to be dressed alike. Why we got to get the same? Why they got to keep buying us the same outfit? So I cropped her out. I didn't want her to feel anyway, but I always had, I always, I had so many of them. I'm always, my mom, my grand, they never failed on that. I was always matching from top to bottom. They had me right, man. Living in Jamaica, but they had me right. They had me right. They had me right. Um, Prince, Prince is definitely my mini me. That little boy looked just like me. I see it in all my baby pictures. I see Prince all over me. He's like literally looking just like me. It's Christmas time. It's Christmas time. Remember that? I remember that song, CJ. Um, let's all enjoy so family, enjoy some family time. Yes, we definitely will. Definitely will. So that was me and my, um, always posing my pigtails, always had it. I look just like Prince though. Just like Prince. All right. Um, now this one is me and my brother, me and my eldest brother. I can't say much because there's a poll again. Shh, be quiet, Sam. Be quiet, be quiet, be quiet, be quiet. Okay. So this is me and my eldest brother. And the, the comment says he never left my side. And my, me and my brother and I, my brother and I have been like this. And we've been together ever since I was born. He's three years older than I am, and we've we all we've always taken pictures together. There's so many pictures of just me and my brother always matching. One of them I really tried to find, but I couldn't find it. So I hope I find it for the next stream, and I'll be able to put it in. Um, so I'll definitely um check um try to find that one. But this is my brother, and this is me again. I don't know what I was doing with a watch. I don't even know if I could have read the read it at that time. But I got a watch on my hand here, honey. I didn't even notice that. Yep, I got a little watch here. A little red watch, too. You notice that? The watch is red. A dress is red. And white. <laughs> this is too much. This is too much. The watch is red. Mama, what? No, the watch is red. What's this? Auntie Vanya. Who was this? Who, who dressed me? Who did this dress? I got to ask which one of my family put this outfit on me made my i bet my shoes was red i had on red and white socks too they had me right they had me right they had me right they really had me right guys okay let's see oh and there it was this was the last one <laughs> 
this, I don't know where this was. Maureen, do you know where this was? <laughs> Look at this one. Which one? The one before? Let me go back. Let me go back to it so I can go back to the other one. This one. I was trying to find so much with me and Henroy. Um, I was trying to find so much more with me and him. But there's one when I was sitting down in the in the chair at the house. We had red, black, and white on, and we both was matching. And he was like, you know, he's sitting across his leg, and I crossed my leg too, looking like I was some cute child. Child mm -mm, had some pose for days. I had pose for days. But that was me and Henry. I always had pictures, man. I always had pictures. And then this was this is Jamaica, guys. Um, I don't know where that was. That had to be Falmouth. I feel like that is somewhere in Falmouth. I feel like that's where this was. Yeah. I feel like this was somewhere in Falmouth. Looking just like Prince. Just like Prince. And then I think the last one is the school. So this is the school that I went to when i was in jamaica and this picture here was um this picture was when i went back to jamaica the first time and we're going to talk about that as well not the next stream the stream after when i went back to jamaica the first time i went back to the school that i went to and uh, when i was little so this was my uniform when I was in primary school, I had this, you know, and the kids, they were, oh my gosh, I remember being this little, being at this school, and um, I went back to, you know, say hi to my teachers that I remember, and um, and take pictures with the kids, and this was me, see, no, sh this was me sometimes, no shoes, and I, when I would go home, I would get beaten for it, no shoes, no shoes, I had on no shoes sometimes, and was playing outside. But this was the school that I went to in um, Jamaica. We should all we should all get creative and give a unique gift to Samantha. That'll be nice, CJ. Let me see what you guys come up with. Pictures like these are unique because they are physically a physical document. We can digitize them today. Yes, um, today. But flipping an old picture album is special. Yes, yes. I love having. Uh, there's so much more. I just don't have all of them just don't have all of them but that was me in school so that was when i went back so that's it i think that's the last one on there right and yeah, that is the last one on there so that is the slideshow guys of samantha of my little little self growing up in jamaica okay let's take this off we can exit that and close this down um because we're done with that. Okay, so we got two of them on here now. Why do we have two? I don't know, but we have two. Okay, guys. So thank you so much. Let's see, 944. Yeah, right on time. Needed to be young. Um, I remember when I was young. You remember when you was young? <laughs> and had hair. <laughs> CJ. <laughs> oh, CJ. <laughs> it was certain. It certainly wasn't that long ago, CJ. <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? <laughs> what is wrong with you guys? <laughs> OMG, I love this. <laughs> hey, Steve. Hey, Steve. Good to see you. <laughs> Thank you. Um, <laughs> I can't. I can't deal with CJ and Rodrigo in the in the chat. They got me crying. Um, good to have you in the house, um, Steve. I was talking about um me being born in Jamaica and um I wore my hair like this most of the time. Literally my hair was like this most of the time. Um I always had some type of pigtail in, thanks to my aunt and my grandmother. Um they always gave me bubbles. We call them bubbles. I don't know what you guys call them here, barrettes or something like that, but we call these bubbles. Yeah, these are called bubbles here. So I wore bubbles all the time. They were always matching my outfit, whatever I had on. Um, so that's why my hair is like this tonight, because I wanted to play the part. Um, so that's why I have on my hair do like this. Hope you like it. Do not laugh and do not um, take pictures. 
<laughs> like it was yesterday. You guys are too much. I want to be a, you want to be a baby again, Haley? No, you got to grow up. I share your ball pain, CJ. I'm sorry for both of you. <laughs> Steve and CJ, I'm sorry for both of you. So, guys, um, leave some comments, please. Um, you guys know I change. I'm doing some rebrandings. You know, I changed my name. So, it's now Samantha Just Inspire. And um, also, um, you notice that I'm doing some more posting during the week. I want you guys to... Um, take, um, answer some of those poll questions and also comment on those posts that I'm posting, come in and get engaged in the different things that I'll be doing up until the 15th. And remember on the 15th, it's going to be a party like no other. Okay. It's going to be a party like, and everyone is invited. It's not going to be a birthday party that you guys can't come. Everybody can come. Everybody that wants to be at the party is welcome at the party. It's an open house party. No, nobody will be turned away. Unless there's a troll. I don't think trolls come into my party anyways. It's okay. You keep your hair like that for a few days and see how folks at grocery store react. I, listen, I would. It's my hair. I mean, it's cute. I washed it and, and did it and and I'm natural. So I just washed it and blow, blow dried it and that was it. I should. I wonder how my husband going to feel. But I have to take the bubbles out when I sleep. Like I have to take... Yeah, I don't think I can lay on it. So I have to take the, the what you guys call these in America? Barrettes or something? The I call them bubbles. They're called bubbles in Jamaica. So, and clips. I don't know if you guys call them the same thing here, but they're bubbles for us. But I have to take those out. But I can leave it. Now you got to grow up. Ha ha, that was funny, really. <laughs> yeah, I got to be a mommy again. Tomorrow, today I was a kid. Tomorrow I gotta be a mommy again. I enjoy being bald, but I had a hard time accepting it back then. How long ago has that been, though, CJ? Um, it's better to go bald completely than to like have a receiving, right? Like if I had to go bald because I was receiving, I'd rather go bald than just have all my hair gone like halfway. I think. Okay, so. Stay engaged with that. We do have, and remember, there are some new things. So each day, up until the 15th, there's going to be new things dropping, okay? So the website is being redone. My merch store is is being is in the, in the process as well. i uh, working on that. So keep watching for new things when things drop, okay? Uh, because I will be doing some adding as we go. So everything will be completely live and done at on the 15th. And those 1,000 subscribers too, guys. <laughs> so we're going to leave you guys with an inspiration. If anybody else doesn't have, if anyone doesn't have anything else to say, it's 945 and you know I don't like to keep you guys long. We will, um, I'll leave you guys with an inspiration and then we'll call it a night and I'll see you guys back on Thursday. And we're going to talk about coming to America and it's not the um, Eddie Murphy video. It's Samantha coming to America. And talk about how that went, how it went, how it go, when I came, all that. So stay tuned for that. That will be on Thursday the 4th. We'll be talking about that, okay? Okay, CJ says, if I leave my hair grow, if I leave my hair grow, people will call me. <laughs> CJ. Haley said you're so funny. Yes, he is. CJ Roger, you crack me up in my chat. The Grandpa Gamer. The Grandpa Gamer. <laughs> that would be original, though, for real. There's no grandpas on here playing, um, being a gamer. The Grandpa Gamer. Okay, guys. Good to have you guys here tonight. I'm glad for the support. Glad for everyone that came in, hanged out, said hello commented and um checked out the stream the website is a constant work in progress kudos to you for getting it all done um and congrats on the new um congrats on the new merch yes the merch is coming up the website is about to be lady i'm working on it and i'm actually building these things myself guys mm. well not the merch store i had somebody take care of the merch store because i have a full-blown website already um, that has some products there, but I'm rebranding, branding that as well. So I'm building, this is my second, third website I'm building now. Um, 
that uh yeah i'm trying to combine everything that's the reason why i did the rebrand as well because i wanted to combine my um because i have a nonprofit and i have a, another brand and then i have youtube too much so i wanted to just kind of combine the brand my um other brand and my youtube channel together so it'll be one and then i just have the nonprofit so and everything is going to kind of correlate together in the end which is my goal um, so that's the goal to do, um, to do that. So that's one of the reasons why I re and I wanted to change my name as well, for my YouTube channel. So I decided to just change it across the board on all my platforms, except for Twitter. Twitter has Sam because Twitter only has certain characters. So I had to say Sam just inspire. So I'm looking forward to your awesome birthday celebration, Samantha. And I pray alongside, um, your goals. Thanks for the question. Thank you, Mommy Lala, for being here. Thank you so much. You are such a supporter. You are such a great supporter. Um, Grandpa Gamer, the GG. <laughs> Grandpa Game, you guys are so funny. Okay, guys. So here is the inspiration for tonight. And it says, and I think, I think, I think, I know what I'm going to do tonight. All right. So. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. He that dwelleth in the secret place of the Most High shall abide under the shadow of the Almighty. So be sure to, the scripture says, when you do things in secret, God always rewards you openly when you do things in, when you, when you, when you speak to him in secret and this this scripture says he that dwell in the secret place so when you go into your closet when nobody can see you cry to god and you tell him all of your troubles everything that bothers you the things that you're praying for god has a way of allowing when he blesses you he bless you and opens where everybody sees because you find that time to dwell you find the time to dwell with him in secret and that is something that I do. When I'm praying, I love to pray, read, and study where nobody else see me. Like, you know, I go into into meetings and prayer things, and I'm quiet, and I'm worshiping, and I'm listening. I'm quiet Because I just think that is, like, something that I've, as a ch not even as a child, growing up, I just always felt like there's something private about my communication with God. And I love to go into the corner and pray to him where, you know, he alone hears the prayer. So I'm leaving this with you guys tonight. Dwell in secret places. Talk to your father in secret places because he will reward you openly. He will reward, he's faithful to do that. Um, These two, these two are my, these two right here got a game. <laughs> Good game, got grandpa. Okay, guys. We just enhance or ruin every chat. We did. No, you guys make me laugh. <laughs> you guys make me laugh. So thank you guys for being here tonight. I will see you guys on Thursday, 8.30 p.m., same time. I will not have pigtails. I, I think I will have pigtails because I came to America with pigtails. I have pigtails. I think I will have these same pigtails in my head, as a matter of fact. So I will see you guys on Thursday. Please, please, please. Um, I will see you guys then and I want you guys to all have a good night this was a hour and a half stream so I will see you guys I need to redo this but I will see you guys on Thursday have a good night guys